This shirt, like, is my life right now. Just finished mine, so I'm a little bit hyper. Woo! Hello, everyone! I am here with a giant collective haul that I collected. Obviously. In case you guys missed it, I did a whole getting ready with me on getting ready for a shopping trip that I went on with Lauren. And a lot of you have been asking, like, what did you end up getting? So I decided to kind of combine it all into, like, one video. This is me cramming everything into the video. Miming it for you guys. You know when you have, like, those shopping trips when you go out and, like, everything fits perfectly and there are great sales going on and it's, like, a super exciting time? So that was me in January. So I am set for a while, hopefully. Don't let me go online and shop. I've done enough shopping. Done, let's do this. I'm gonna gather up all my things. How was your weekend? Was it good? Everyone feeling good? Trying to get all my stuff together and continue our conversation. What should I start with? Uh, Forever 21? Feeling Forever 21? You can take your silence as a yes. Sometimes for me, it is a hit or miss kind of situation with Forever 21. Like either I walk in and I get a lot of stuff or I walk out with like nothing. But I always go in in the hopes that I'm gonna find some cool stuff. So yay, this time it worked. So it has been super freaking cold over the last month or so. And so I wanted to pick up some more like cozy warm sweaters because Chris keeps the house so cold. And I know I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, but that's because I have my lights on and this like little room gets really, really hot really fast. Also for those of you that live in cold climates, Canada, Woo. You know that it is winter from like October to April. So this one I got, which is this beautiful periwinkle color. I love it. It's just nice and comfortable and I love the cable knit sort of down the front. Just a little bit of extra detail and it is super warm and cozy. Plus I love the periwinkle color because I feel like I can wear this in March and it feels okay. It's like I'm wearing a really big knit. Technically everywhere else it's spring, but like I feel good about it because it's periwinkle. It's a spring color, right? Where's my other one? Oh, it's over here. I did a terrible job organizing all my stuff. Boo, Rachel. And then the other one is opposite in terms of color selection. I went super dark with the hunter green. And this one is nice because it has a lot of texture on it. And I wasn't sure I was gonna like it at first when I tried it on. I was like, oh, I think this is just gonna be one of those ones that is too like a weird awkward shape. I don't know if you guys have this experience with Forever 21, but I find sometimes with their big knits like this, it's this weird like um like a like a bubble shape kind of thing going on and it's just not flattering for anyone. But um this one actually ended up being really nice. I'm also doing some traveling in the next little while and I wanted some pretty shirts for, you know, just going out and doing things. This is one of the shirts I got. I really really like this. It looks super super nice on. It is actually double lined on the inside. I know, like, when does this ever happen in Forever 21? It's usually like, I'll see a shirt like this, I'm like, oh, it's all see-through, and I don't do see-through. It's just not, not my thing. I know some girls can get away with it. No dice. I would personally wear this with like, you know, faux leather jacket, some cute jeggings type things, some booties, something like that. I just like the little bling going on in the front. I went a little bit out of my comfort zone with the next one. I wanted to try a color that maybe I've never worn before and it actually ended up looking really nice. I was surprised how much I actually liked this shirt. I do love my blousy shirts. You guys know I pick up a lot of them. And then next is not super exciting. I just wanted some more t-shirts so I got a white one because it was on sale and I also got this color. Because as a mom, you know you need a good couple of staple t-shirts for like play groups and things. So it kind of match matches my lip color. Yay! <laughs> next! And then um, the next shirt, I've actually been borrowing a shirt almost identical to this one from Lauren for like six months. <laughs> She's like, I want my shirt back, Rachel. So I um, bought this one, which is very similar. Just a nice sleeveless shirt. I love the detail in the front with the little bow. It's nice and flancy. It is just a really good shirt for any sort of work functions in this color dough. I love, love me some bright blue. And lastly, I got this green shift dress, which doesn't look like much, just kind of like this. It looks pretty plain, but I love it on. I probably wear this with some tights and booties and like a really big blingy necklace and like waves. I think this would look beautiful and just a really good easy dress to wear. I love the longer sleeve. It just makes it a little bit easier to wear in sort of 
this time of year when it is super freaking cold out. Now on to jewelry, my favorite part of any haul. I love jewelry so much. And so I ordered a couple of things online when they were having their Boxing Day sale and then I bought a couple of things when I was actually out shopping. So first of all, like throwback to the 90s, I bought myself a choker. Also throwback with my hair, the Lauren Conrad braid. I like it, I'm gonna wear it more often. Forgot how much I like this hairstyle. It was on sale and it looked really pretty so I'm going to kind of experiment with it and see how I like styling it. But I thought, you know, why not, right? And then this next one, I am obsessed with these colors. Look how pretty that is. What I really like about this is it's a statement piece without being too crazy. Um, the colors are beautiful and it has this really nice, um, almost like a greeny reflection. I just love really good statement necklaces. Now, as you guys know, I buy a lot of gold jewelry, so I'm really, really trying to buy more silver jewelry. That Those last two are a bad example. Also, the next three are also bad examples. <laughs> I've failed in my attempt to buy more silver jewelry. You want to see the only silver jewelry I got? I'll show you. This blingy necklace. This is all I got that was silver. Everything else is gold, but you know, try something new. This was on sale, again, I don't know, something different. Oh, I only got two gold, good for me. So one is this one. How much do we love this one, right? It's subtle, but I love how it reflects light. Like, see that? Oh, it's so pretty. And the next one is very, very similar. And it's more of a, a fringe kind of a look. It's just got the double layers. Pretty fringy goldness. I'm really, really bad at describing clothes and jewelry. I don't know why, why anyone watches my hauls. Next up, brandy. Oh, there's no, there is no anything on this. Thought there was gonna be a big brandy logo, but there isn't. Well, this is brandy. So the first thing I bought online was a shirt. Okay, but first coffee, as I mentioned before. I, I love coffee. Love it so much. And then I also picked up this gray dress, very simple, good casual piece. I am really excited to wear this dress with the hat that I got from H&M, so stay tuned for that. But this would also look really good with the burgundy hat. I always point to my closet as if you guys are here and can see it, and then I forget that you guys aren't in this room with me. But the burgundy big Carmen San Diego hat, as I call it, um, I talked about it in my 2014 clothing favorites and I think that would look really good with this as well. And then I got this basic turtleneck sleeveless shirt. Nice and stretchy, pretty basic, nothing really super exciting about that. And then um, this ship dress, which is super wrinkly, so I'm sorry. Just a really pretty black shift dress and a good staple to kind of like dress up or dress down. I like pieces like that. Last but not, oh no, I also, oh, two for two, haven't fallen yet, yes. I bought these two pieces from a, an online store that I saw. It's called Let It Be Accessories. I have never shopped there before, but my sister-in-law has and she really really liked it so I bought a couple of pieces from there. One of them is this necklace which I think is just stunning. I love the black and the gold. So nice. This is gonna look killer and it's just it's really good quality. I love the texture on the back too actually. Can I wear this two ways? No not, not really. Then the other whoop, eh. all right well that's not a good sign. One of the little gems fell off though I can't see from where. I'll have to glue gun that on when I figure out where it is missing from, or maybe it's an extra one. I can't tell. Like a Where's Waldo hunt for the missing spot on my necklace. Anyway, this is the uh, other necklace that I got. I thought this would be really pretty for spring. Really like the shape, I love the pattern. I, I as you guys can tell, I love the ones that are statement-y, but it's like smaller statement. I think it's just easier to wear with a whole bunch of different things. Then I bought some things online that I got on sale from Aritzia. First off, I have to show you these pants. These are um, just a hunter green pair of sort of harem pants. Really comfortable, guys, and I am very excited to wear these in the springtime. And then I also bought on the Garage website, and Garage is like, uh, I think it's Canadian only, kind of like a mix of Charlotte Russe and Brandy Melville. I don't know. Canadians help me out here. Is that how you would describe it? But I got a pair of their burgundy pants because I don't have any burgundy pants. I originally had a pair of leggings from Zara and it was, they were like the worst quality things ever. First, the zipper broke when I was in San Francisco. Super annoying. So then I got the zipper fixed and then I was literally, guys, I was pulling up the pants to put them on, these are leggings, by the way, like super thick 
quality leggings, I was like, this will be no problem. I don't even have nails, guys. Like, my nails are, like, non-existent. I was pulling up the pants and I ripped a hole in the pants. Not even on the seam, like, in the actual pants. Anyway, that was a whole rant that I didn't need to get into. These are high-waisted, they're burgundy, they're stretchy, so they're kind of, like, they're like really good quality jeggings. I, I like I don't know how else to tell you how awesome they are, except they're super awesome and you need to buy some. If you're looking for pants, great place to be. And then last but not least, we're gonna get into H&M. So I went super black and white in H&M and I bought everything in shades and highlights. So first the sweater. Love me this sweater so much. I feel like I'm a like a like a tennis tennis coach or something. I don't know what it is. Very preppy and like classy. I like it. It's got a ribbed texture so it's it's a little bit different. I really really like this. And then I got this dress. Black dress. I feel like I should be playing tennis in this except don't. I uh, no. Very very similar to the cardigan except obviously opposite color flip-flopping. Um, I love the skirt, very nice and A-line. It's very pretty, very classic. And then for accessories, I got this bag. I know, don't you love this bag so much? I'm so excited about it. It is all beaded down the front in different shades of gray and silver. So in love with this bag, guys, I can't even tell you. The back is all made in this suede, which is gonna be super annoying to try and keep on top of, but like just with a roller brush, I think it'll be fine, right? Right, it's fine, it's fine. It has a strap in case you wanted to strap a size it that's not a word just overall a really nice statement bag and then lastly i got another hat very excited about this it is a black felt wide brim hat it's got the sort of faux leather detail around here and it's just like i don't know it's fun i don't wear hats enough and like i really like this one so i'm excited to play around with it whoa batman that was a really long haul thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like hauls and maybe you found some stuff that perhaps you want to purchase for yourself. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.